In recent developments, the Monetary Authority of Singapore, MAS, has made a significant announcement that has attracted considerable attention in the financial and political sectors. Chi Hong Tat, who currently serves as the second minister for finance and transport minister, has been appointed as the deputy chairman of Mars's board of directors. This appointment will take effect on August 23, 2024, and his tenure is slated to run until May 31, 2027. This strategic decision by MAS reflects the organization's ongoing efforts to strengthen its leadership team, ensuring that it continues to play a pivotal role in shaping Singapore's financial stability and economic policies. Chi Hong Tat's inclusion in the MAS board is seen as a move that will bolster the board's ability to navigate complex financial landscapes and policy challenges. He first joined the MAS board on June 1, 2024, marking the beginning of what many anticipate will be a transformative period for the organization. With a strong background in finance and transport, Chi is expected to bring a wealth of experience and insight to Mars's decision-making processes. The MAS board is currently chaired by Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Trade and Industry, Gen Kim Yong. Gen assumed this role on May 15, 2024, succeeding Prime Minister Lawrence Wong. Before taking on the chairman position, Gen had served as the deputy chairman of the MAS board since July 8, 2023. His leadership is widely recognized, and his transition to chairman was seen as a natural progression, given his deep involvement in Singapore's economic affairs. The board of directors of MAS plays a crucial role in overseeing the policy direction and general administration of the organization. Under the MAS Act, the board is appointed by the President of Singapore, with the chairman recommended by the cabinet. This process ensures that the board is composed of individuals who are not only qualified but also capable of managing the complex regulatory and supervisory responsibilities that MAS undertakes. The board's accountability to Parliament through the minister in charge of MAS further underscores the importance of transparency and good governance in Singapore's financial sector. Apart from Gan Kim Yong and Chi Hong Tat, the MAS board comprises a diverse group of individuals, each bringing their unique expertise to the table. These members include Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Keat, who has a long history of involvement in Singapore's financial policies, and Alvin Tan, the Minister of State for Trade and Industry, and Culture, Community and Youth. Their combined experience is expected to guide MAS in its mission to maintain monetary stability and foster a sound financial system in Singapore. Other notable members of the MAS board include Peter Ong, the former head of the civil service, and Chali Ma the chairman of Netlink NBN Management. Their inclusion further adds to the depth of knowledge and experience within the board. The presence of special advisors like Lam HNG Kiang, who serves in the Ministry of Trade and Industry, and legal experts such as Attorney General Lucien Wong, ensures that the board is well equipped to handle the legal and policy challenges that may arise. Deborah Ong, a retired partner at PWC, and Ng Y King, the managing partner at Wong Partnership, contribute their extensive experience in accounting and legal matters, respectively. Their roles are crucial in ensuring that Mars's financial practices are sound and legally compliant. Additionally, MAS Managing Director Kia De Jun plays a vital role in the day-to-day -day operations of the organization, providing leadership and guidance to the board. This recent appointment of Chi Hong Tat as the deputy chairman of MAS comes at a time when Singapore's financial landscape is evolving rapidly. As the global economy faces uncertainties, the role of MAS in safeguarding Singapore's financial stability becomes even more critical. The board's composition reflects a careful balance of government oversight and industry expertise, ensuring that MAS remains a robust and effective institution. The MAS board's responsibilities include informing the government of its regulatory, supervisory, and monetary policies. This advisory role is vital in ensuring that Singapore's financial policies remain adaptive and responsive to both domestic and international challenges. As such, the board's decisions have far-reaching implications, not just for the financial sector but for the broader economy as well. As viewers of 2230, we encourage you to share your thoughts on this development. How do you think Chi Hong Tat's appointment will impact the future of MAS? What are your views on the current composition of the MAS board? We would love to hear your insights in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, 
and subscribe to our channel for more detailed news coverage and updates on significant developments in Singapore and beyond.